Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now we've got another gray, drizzly day. No heavy rain, but steady, steady drizzle. And that sky is producing enough power to run everything. Going to take you back to school today. Make sure you know your ABCs. And as gray as it is, and I'm still fiddling around with this system, uh, but 94% full, even on a day like today. And we will get back into this, still experimenting with some things, but everything's running okay. I've adjusted my parameters on this, and we're going to go over that in a, a video that I'm still working on. Yeah, but today going to go over the ABCs. And just sitting here in my bed, not a bad view, huh? I got my uh, entertainment system. And then, of course, the beautiful jungle to look out at. So what was wrong with that picture in the thumbnail? Some of you eagle eyes might have spotted it right away. And it's, it's that spot right between those two knuckles. And that gets to the A, B, C, D, and E of things. So I shared with you guys uh, over the last little while that I've been dealing with melanoma for many, many years. It stays aggressive, and I have to keep dancing with my surgeon, and I'm going to have to keep dancing. In the past month, I've had about a dozen different surgeries. We picked off a couple more melanomas and I am like the melanoma poster child from all the doctors that I see. I've had 26 melanomas now and I'm still holding strong, but those lesions keep coming. So I'm going to show you guys what to look for on your skin and it gets to the A, B, C, D, and E of things. And A means asymmetry. So Going back to that spot between the knuckles, and it's that one there in the center. That's a new lesion that's popped up. That's typically what my melanomas look like. So I'm highly suspicious that there is yet another one. So the uh, A is for asymmetry. And as you can see, there's nothing asymmetrical about that. The B is for border. It has very irregular borders. C is for color. I have a multitude of colors in there, always a bad sign for me. Uh, and what was I on? Oh, and D, diameter. It's a fairly large diameter now. And then E for evolving, and this thing's evolving, and it's evolving fast. So, yeah, that looks like a dead ringer for melanoma. And they cut you very wide for melanoma. There's some other spots popping up as well. Uh, they all look suspicious, but this one right there, dead center frame, uh, not looking good at all. And when I say they cut you wide and deep, here I had a, a two melanomas that popped up. I don't have a picture of what those lesions looked like, but they looked similar to what I just showed you on my hand, but much smaller. And yeah... Looks like I almost had my arm cut off and stapled back up to clear and get clear margins on two little spots on the elbow. And here's another go round. This is on my side and you can see the chunk that they take off to get clear margins there. Again, a couple more there. And here you can see an old scar line. There was one there. Uh, this one here. Also turned out to be a melanoma, as did that one, as did that one, and as did that one. I now have uh, nice big scars there, but these are some before shots that I did show, like what they looked like before and what got my attention. Again, it failed the A, B, C, D, E rule uh, when looking for melanoma. That was one down there as well. You can see a couple of different colors for sure. Dark spots, a little bit lighter, uh, asymmetrical, uh, the borders, crazy borders. And when they say borders, if you can't cut a lesion in half, fold it over on top of 
each other and have matching halves, then, you know, it needs to go away. It needs to be biopsied at the very least. So, and this is one that I picked up on my belly. Again, you can see how generously cut. And here's what a melanoma looked like when I caught it on the tragus part of the year a few years ago. I'll try and zoom in. I don't have all of my melanomas documented with pictures. I've got several of them. This one was really tricky because, uh, you know, you need wide margins around this, and they had to refer me out to several different surgeons. My, my normal surgeon was able to get the biopsy off of that one, and we could uh, determine that it was a melanoma. But uh, he wasn't comfortable with doing the wide excision on there. Wasn't sure we'd be able to save my ear trying to get the margins there. Went to a couple of different surgeons and was able to get the Mohs procedure, which some of you guys will know what that is. And that's what they do on the face and head a lot of times to not disfigure you and, and keep you looking pretty. And here's another shot of what that looked like. And I'll tell you guys that like one day, I look my body over quite regularly, get naked, stand in front of the mirror, see what's popping up new. Uh, literally, I had not done a full body check in only one week. That was not there uh, the week prior. And then one week later, it was sitting there right there and I knew that was gonna be a problem. And that's what that looked like. Uh, I don't have of course, what it looked like opened up. I wanted to try and get a picture of that, but I could not. But anyway, that's what it looked like cutting that lesion out and getting clear margins with the Mohs procedure. So with Mohs, you know, they just, they kind of cut a circle around the lesion. Uh, and while you're there, they put it under a microscope. And once they and they keep going with wider and wider margins around until they don't see any cancer cells. And then they, you know, have to cut you on both ends and able to close that hole up. So uh, that was an interesting procedure. Typically, uh, on the rest of my body, I get a much larger cut than that. But due to the, you know, tough location of this one, they had to do the Mohs, and so far that's been holding good. I haven't had a reoccurrence in that area, and, and I'm glad for that. And this one, which I called my shark bite, I showed you guys this one. This was just a couple of months ago. You know, another pound of flesh. Give you a little bit different perspective of how big of a cut it takes to get clear margins with melanoma. Here's one just, just above my left nipple. And that one was on top of my right shoulder and that's what it took to clear that. And as gruesome as this looks, those darker spots are from having to be cauterized to stop the bleeding. But yet, you know, you can see another uh, generous chunk of, chunk of me left my body to get clear margins. And here's one on my right side. Actually, there was two. You can see there's two different excisions there to get clearance. And that's pretty much what I think about melanoma. And I'll just reiterate that point. So, you know, guys and gals, get naked in front of your mirror. Look things over. Places you can't see, have other people look for you. Pay attention to the A, B, C, D, E's. Yep, there's another one. I'm sprinkled with hundreds of lesions right now. They're all uh, trying and evolving to melanoma. It's been getting worse the older I get. Um, I'm having a hard time staying ahead of it. But these are the things to look for, like that one right there. That doesn't pass the A, B, C, D, E rule whatsoever. And like right there to the far left, I've got to get clear margins where you see that scar already. 
And in the meantime, all that stuff to the right of the scar has popped up since I got that scar, which was only a few weeks ago. Uh, we've just been letting that heal before I go in and take a real wide excision on there to get margins. And all this stuff keeps popping up and it's constantly evolving. Yeah, and there's some more right there. They're going to be a problem. So in between talking about and trying to help you guys with solar projects, uh, my message is to be careful with too much solar. <laughs> uh, don't do as I did. Uh, the damage on my skin was done at a very early age. And then the older I get, the more it creeps up on me. There's another one that's a problem right there. Lots of these don't pass the ABCDEs. Uh, we can typically only do about three to four biopsies on me, anticipating wider excisions. And an old guy like me can only take about a few wide cuts at once without getting completely worn out. So those are my words of wisdom to you guys is protect your skin. It's the largest organ of your body. Melanoma can move fast and furious and you just have only a few hairs width of margin uh, before you're in uh, real trouble because you want to keep it confined to the epidermis. Uh, that's the best case scenario. You don't want it penetrating deeper than the dermis because then it likes to head out to places like your brain, lungs, liver, or anywhere else that melanoma wants to go to. So uh, yeah, it continues to be a problem for me. Probably going to be the rest of my life. I keep always hoping that I get my last cut, but I never seem to get my last cut. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next little while is a lot more cutting and a lot more recuperating. And in the meantime, I am making more videos on, uh, yeah, getting those little parameters right on the battery. But uh, they're taking a second seat to me uh, for the moment. But I am still making videos and putting those together, and a lot of them are taking some time. So... Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I got to dance with the knife again here. So yeah, don't be afraid to get naked. Stand in front of your mirror. See what you see. Go see your dermatologist. Get anything suspicious. Cut off of you. Uh, biopsies are easy. Wide excisions, a little more challenging. Uh, don't go out into the sun unexposed when you guys go out there and uh, mess with your solar systems, wear sun protective clothing, keep everything covered up because as good as it is for your solar panels, uh, it's not good for your skin. So I know a lot of you guys getting up in age, uh, you're, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the skin starts to fail you. So keep your skin in good shape, keep your systems in good shape, but keep your skin in good shape so you can keep your systems in good shape. All right. Yeah, so I'm dancing with the knife for the next little bit, and I will catch you guys on some more solar equipment-related videos. Aloha. <sighs> yeah, the knife can wear a guy out. No shit.